imagine you could freeze motion or compute exactly how fast something is changing in that moment. That's what calculus lets us do. But how did humans ever invent this idea? The story begins long before Newton. Ancient Greeks like Eudoxus used the method of exhaustion, approximating curved areas by ever finer polygons. And Archimedes pushed that idea further. He found areas under curves, volumes of solids by clever limiting arguments. In the medieval world, mathematicians like Ibn al-Haytham, al-Hazen, studied sums of powers, volumes of domes, made by rotating curves, anticipating integral ideas. By the 1600s, thinkers across Europe, Fermat, Cavalieri, Pascal, were working with infinitesimals or indivisibles, tackling tangents and areas. But what was missing was a unified framework. Then came two giants, Isaac Newton and Gottfried Leibniz. Newton, in his early 20s during the plague years, 1665 to 67, developed his idea of fluxions, rates of change, and fluence, changing quantities. Leibniz, a bit later, invented the notation differential and the integral sign. He published his work Nova Methodis Pro Maximus et Minimis in 1684. What's magical is the fundamental theorem of calculus, the fact that differentiation and integration are inverses of each other. Newton and Leibniz recognized this deeply, but their story wasn't all peaceful. A fierce dispute erupted. Who invented calculus first? Newton's supporters accused Leibniz of borrowing. Today, historians believe they discovered it independently. In just two millennia, ideas from ancient geometry, Islamic scholars, European thinkers, all merged into the powerful tool we now call calculus. Trivia question time. Whose notation do we use today? Newton's fluxions or Leibniz's differential and integral? Leave your answer in comments.